whole group is, we believe in equality of the sexes, so. <laughs> with the two presenters. <laughs> um, I will show you the introduction, um, the introduction of our, our topics and uh, opinions, and that then will <laughs> explain it in detail. <laughs> um, uh, this is our, our topic, our group two's uh, topic, uh, Foster Fisher International. Um, Uh, first, the uh, importance of uh, fish habitat. Um, we have four opinions. First is uh, spawning ground, and then feeding ground, then uh, fertilization, and uh, the fourth, uh, biodiversity. Uh, and then Uh, impact of uh, uh, climate change. Uh, you, show the, you can see the sea, um, the sea temperature rise and the sea level rise will uh, affect the habitat affection, um, affectation and then cause uh, the fish uh, the fish <laughs> migration <laughs> and uh, also cause the diet and then let them show you <laughs> in detail <laughs> Construction, etc. 
nature. Another is mangrove planting. In some years, persons will have cut the mangroves for various reasons. Um, it could be for the wood, etc. So we need to replant those mangroves. And also, in those areas where we have mangroves growing, we need to conserve them. Third, we need to reinforce the beaches. And this is uh, very important for northern part of Japan because in these areas, I'm sure that the mangroves can grow. Is that so, I said say? The snow is going to kill them or something? I don't know. Maybe it's too cold, but usually mangroves are formed in tropical areas. So for the northern part of Japan, um, we need other methods of reinforcement. So we don't want to leave Hokkaido out of the picture because Hokkaido is also part of Southeast Asia. And another thing is the planting of seagrass. Um, in many areas, the seagrass is very important for the um, maintenance of the ecosystem. And finally, the eco-friendly lifestyles of the coastal dwellers. Now this might be a little sore spot, but we believe that in time, we can encourage people to live in an eco-friendly It involves things like uh, proper garbage disposal. It involves um, proper agricultural practices, because things such as uh, pesticides and fertilizers and so on, when they um, run off into the coastal waters, it affects the habitat. So we believe that uh, if we have all these actions in place, we can have flourishing coastal ecosystems around Southeast Asia. So we invite you to come on board and join us. Thank you. No. 
how we going to add uh, for the adaptation for the for the adaptation. <laughs> Um, if you look, if you look at, uh, at the action plan, um, basically a lot of this is going towards restoration of what has already been damaged. But there is a very key word there, and that is, uh, if you see here, conservation. Conservation is also very important. So we have to look at how to keep what we already have. It's not just about restoring what's destroyed, but also maintaining what we have, and that is why. If you look at the action plan, um, our step-by-step -step plan, um, you notice that we actually will look at areas that are already protected. Many times, you see, if, if our approach was just to look at those that have the problems, then your argument would have been correct. But we're also looking at areas that are also protected, and the maintenance of that as well. Alright, so it's twofold. You're protecting what we have and we're also restoring. After your presentation, I just hope that I wouldn't feel hungry anymore. <laughs> Sharing information up here. <laughs> and, uh, information, man. Yeah. Mechanisms of sharing information by depends on 